Hello, this is Kevin Beaver. I'm an independent information security consultant, expert witness, and speaker with Atlanta-based Principal Logic. I write for SearchSoftwareQuality.com, and I'm also the author of the book Hacking for Dummies, as well as the Security on Wheels audio programs. In a previous screencast, I introduced you to the basics of WebGoat, the insecure web application environment you can use to get some good hands-on experience learning about web vulnerabilities. Now, in this screencast, I'm going to go in a little deeper and step through a couple of the WebGoat lessons so you can see just how easy it is to use. Now, I've already logged into the WebGoat interface, and I'm going to go over here and select Authentication Flaws. And we're going to go into the Forgot Password lesson. And basically, this is an exercise to step through the uh, manipulation of a forgot password mechanism in a web application. And it gives us some basic information here. It says your, your username is WebGoat and your favorite color is red. And we're going to use this information to retrieve the password. So type in WebGoat. And it's going to say, what is your favorite color? We know their favorite color is red. And it returns the password, as you can see here. It's WebGoat. OK. Let's go back and say, for instance, we want to manipulate this forgot password mechanism and actually exploit uh, someone else's user account. So you can either brute force uh, the user accounts or you may know a user account. In this case, we know a user account of admin. So let me enter that in. Comes back and asks uh, what admin's favorite color is type in red and it returns incorrect response okay because admin has his own uh, specific favorite color and specific password so this this is just a mechanism that we're going to go in and try to uh, try to uh, hack let's try blue same response let's try uh, yellow same response and as you can see here it doesn't appear that there's any sort of intruder uh, lockout mechanism Let's try one more green. Boom. Here's the password for the admin user. So a couple things here. There's no intruder lockout. And it's a really basic question that it's prompting the user. And, you know, because there are only so many colors. And you, you, you go through. It's a process of elimination. And there you have it. You can uh, manipulate a forgot password mechanism. And I can't uh, stress to you how, how often I see something this basic in an otherwise uh, quote unquote secured uh, web application. Okay, let's move on to code quality. And we're going to discover clues in the HTML. Now, this is an exercise where we're actually going to go in and look at a, a, a web login form, which is what you see here, just a basic login form. Uh, we're going to look at the HTML and see if there's anything uh, specific that is uh, giving any clues or uh, any information that could uh, lead to a, a, a breach or a hack. Okay, so as you can see across the top here, I have the Firefox Web Developer plugin installed. So I'm going to go to View Source for this page. And it's going to pull up the source code for this specific login page. Typically, when I'm doing a manual analysis, I like to go in and search for a keyword that's on that particular page. In this case, it's password. So let's go in and uh, search for the word password. And it'll actually take us right to that specific section of code. And if you go it, you scroll down, you look around. And this, this can take some time uh, when you're doing it in the real world. But in this case, uh, here's a comment. And boom, there is some uh, potentially juicy information. It says, fix me, uh, admin colon admin pw. Well, that sounds like it could be some uh, good login information. Let's go over here and try to log in. And boom, I'm in. Was able to go in and analyze the actual HTML and determine uh, wh what was um, actually vulnerable. Now, uh, within these lessons, you can s you can get hints. You can see the actual parameters. Uh, you can see cookies, and there's even the solution. You can click on the solution. It'll show you all the specific details. Keep in mind that these are two of the higher-level lessons in WebGoat. 
and I highly encourage you to sit down and work through all the lessons that you see here. You could easily spend a few days doing so, but it's going to be a worthwhile investment. Thanks for joining me.